today we'd like to cover how you can use WinShuttle Studio to automate equipment updates. The agenda will cover the top 10 use cases in plant maintenance. We'll cover automating the equipment updates from two different perspectives, from the author of the automation as well as the business user who consumes it, talk about potential savings, where to find examples, and a quick wrap up. Here you see the top 10 use cases for plant maintenance, and number two is change equipment. Almost all of these have over 99% time savings versus doing it manually. But lots of customers who are automating this using WinShuttle Studio with lots of days saved. Now the steps to update equipment, as with most things in SAP, require you to visit lots of screens. And our customers find that it's much simpler to interact with SAP from a business-friendly tool like Excel to be able to create, or in this case, update various objects. And we're doing equipment today. There's three different author modules, transaction to automate those SAP transactions you'd otherwise manually walk through, query to extract data out of the backend system for either operational type reporting or to extract prior to updating, and direct allows you to interact with SAP through SAP BAPIs or business APIs. They're basically SAP programs and SAP has tons of them, and it's a very efficient way to interact with SAP. Today we're gonna cover transaction for the most part, but our example will also include a query to extract data prior to updating. So from the studio author experience, there's three different steps for any automation and with transaction, and that includes this equipment update. So we'll first record it, walking through it in SAP, then we'll map and run. Let's take a look. So I'm here in studio, I'll choose my transaction, create from recording. We'll log into a non-production system where I have permission to do this. So we leverage SAP permissions. We'll put in my transaction and click start recording. It's opened up SAP for me and I'll go ahead and start entering data. So open a piece of equipment. I'm just going to over type or hit space on the fields that I wanna capture for this particular recording. So we'll do wait and dimensions, inventory, maybe the manufacturer, we'll hop over here to location. We'll do location and room, and we'll hop over here to organization, and maybe we'll, we'll be updating cost center. We can go to structure, again, all, all the different tabs, but we'll go ahead and just finish this up and click save. And that finishes the recording step. So now we're ready to map, and I have the fields that I've captured up here on top and an empty Excel template on the bottom. So I'm just going to drag down my messages here on the left and then basically pick up all the rest. I'll just go ahead and select all of them. And we'll start mapping in column C. We'll upload to row three. And that means we're uploading all the fields, and you'll see that they're all mapped in the order in which I capture them. There's a lot of other features we can do in here, long text, attachments, and making fields required, but that's simply the mapping step in its most easiest form. And then as an author, I can add some test data here, I can check the data, I can run it, and then publish it, which basically embeds the automation in the Excel, what we call template, and we'll be able to pass it on to the business user. So from the business user's perspective, I'll simply just open up an Excel file that has the automation embedded and be able to quickly and easily update multiple pieces of equipment. I can look up values to help me fill it out. I can check the data, um, basically fix anything that, that needs fixing, and basically ensure that that data quality is complete and correct according to SAP. And it allows business users and plant maintenance and other functional areas to manage their own data quickly and easily. Let's take a look. So now I'm here in Excel and we have an add-in. I've already logged into WinShuttle and my SAP system and I have two different automations. And we're going to use query to extract a set of equipment. So I'll go ahead and click run. And we're presented with search criteria that's flexible. Some of it's required, some of it isn't. So we've got functional location, maintenance plants, a range of um, pieces of equipment and we could use other search criteria. So I'm going to click OK and it will go into SAP and pull anything out that matches. So we have 18 records. I'll do some quick updates here and then we can turn around and choose the update. 
And this, this would be that update automation that we created very similar to what I just walked you through. And what we can do first is validate. And that's simply going to fill in the screens in SAP without saving it. If we get success, that means SAP thinks it's complete and correct. If we get an error, we'll pass along the SAP message in the row so you'll know exactly what's wrong and be able to fix it. Let's go ahead and post now. So here you see the equipment has changed and no changes were made, so I didn't update all the records. And we're basically echoing back what SAP would do, and we're running through this lightning fast. Again, using SAP permissions and SAP's logging who changed what, when, and where. So we're all done. We also had a backup feature here, and this basically copies the data prior to updates in case you need that for auditing or to back out changes. But that's all it really takes. Fill in the Excel template with your data or use Query to pull it out, make your changes, and swap to update it. We call that a round trip. So our customers have de derived a lot of savings automating Equipment Master tasks. In fact, lots of different plant maintenance tasks. Here, just for Equipment Master, you'll see that uh, the updates of equipment has the highest volume and the largest number of days saved, but there are quite a few other transactions that you can automate using WindShuttle. There's lots of other opportunities to further automate equipment processes, such as creating an installation or reinstallation, uh, pulling, loading, or updating the class characteristics, asset or internal orders linked to that equipment. We can create equipment bombs and maintain them. Functional locations, plant maintenance, or malfunction notifications and orders are also easily automated with Windshield Studio. If you would like to have server-based execution and scheduling of these automations, particularly for large amounts of data, you can consider using Studio Manager or Evolve, which are server-based products. For process automation, perhaps like for a plant maintenance notification, you might want to have a process where people enter data, validate data, approve it prior to actually posting it to SAP. And you can do that with our business process automation tool called Evolve. You can go further and faster through our community. There's a place here for you to pull examples. And here I'm showing you just some of the examples related to equipment. You can download them, test them out, modify them to meet your needs. You can also post questions on, on our community site and get responses from our WinShuttle experts as well as our customer experts. There's access to online training also here under the resources. And of course, as your expertise grows, you too can join in on the fun and contribute to the community earning recognition.